of the desert, the heat, the awful heat. Oh, why doesn't this madness come to me? For six days now they haven't brought our rations. No. Why? 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 They never oh, come. No. Why oh, they bring them? Oh, Madre de Dios, help me. Don't let me die in this grave. Let me die above ground. Oh, you fool on me. Oh. I'm afraid to die. Afraid. Oh. Come now, Ramon, old chap. Easy. Easy. You forgive me, senor. Truly. Of course I do. God will not punish me for what I've done to you. I don't think so, Ramon. I don't think so. I'm afraid. I'm going. Hey, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Oh, perdóname, madre. Oh. He betrayed you, didn't he? Well, he recognized me. He did what I suppose he thought was his duty. Yes. He identified you as the deserter from Fort Sindonet. He sold you, didn't he? For 30 pieces of silver. This Judas. This Ramon Gonzalez. And you forgive him. Comfort him. Why? Perhaps it was a beau ideal of yours. Hey, Smith? Yes, perhaps that's it. Oh, ideal? What's that? Ideal? Ideal. Beau ideal. A beautiful ideal. Uh. We have only three matches left. The Spaniards shall have two, as candles. One at his head, and the other at his feet. Take mine. 
I have saved a little. Oh, no, Jacob. Not yours. I won't need it. There are only three of us left now. I'm joining the others. One more corpse won't bother you. that again, will you? I only said, stout fellow. Well, your name's not Smith. It's Jess. John. John Jess. I found you. Found you at last. John. John, you can't die. You mustn't die. Think of Isabel. Isabel. Isabel! I found him and he's dying. He's dying, Isabel. And I can't bring him back. Isabel! Isabel! Your boy, Miss Madison, and my daughter, too. See how happy they are together. Patrick, I now confer upon you the highest honor for bravery that can be bestowed on man or beast. Avenue 
you will be a little stuffy after this. Mother! Mother! Mother, must we go back to America so soon? Yes, dear, we must. Couldn't Nora stay here with us, Mother, dear? Please, Aunt Patricia. Oh, Mrs. Madison. Oh, Aunt Pat. Please, Mrs. Madison. I'm sorry, Isabel, dear, but his father has cabled us to come home immediately. And come home we must. <laughs> come along, Otis. There isn't much time. Bye, boy. Bye. Bye, John. We'll come to Bye. Bye, Bye, Isabel. You'll come back soon. I know you will. Nice American boy. Oh, yes. Come in, Mother. Come You're in. right, won't you? Bye. 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 We won't Bye. forget Bye. you. Bye. 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 Lady Brandon at home? No, sir. Her ladyship is not at home. Oh? And Miss Isabel? Not at home, sir. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? I thought I'd surprise them. Came all the way from America. Didn't have the sense to figure that they might not be at home. Well, thanks. Miss Brandon. Yes. Don't you remember me? I know. Uh... Mm. Think back a few years. Well, the only American I. Why, Otis! Yes. Uh, uh... Oh, a nice little American boy. Uh... Oh, Burton, take Mr. Madison's horse, too. Yes, Miss. Oh, do come and sit down. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, so am I. Very glad. <laughs> Do you know, it sounds silly, but I've kept every one of your letters. Oh, don't tell me they were worth keeping. I love them. <laughs> Childhood memories, you know. Oh, by the way, how stout fellow. The dog with the broken leg. Remember? Oh, you mean Patrick. Yes. <laughs> Poor old Patrick. He lived to a ripe old age. And Bo just then gave him the loveliest funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Dear old Bo, how is he? And Digby and John, bless them. Why don't you answer me? It's gone, Otis. Gone? You see, they they joined the Foreign Legion. Foreign Legion? Oh, but why not your own splendid British army? Something went wrong at home. Something brought dishonor on the family. Well, Bo took the blame and went away. That's all. Bo? Then Digby followed. He wanted to share it. And then... Then John... Dear John. Isabel. You know, don't you, that neither Bo, Digby, nor John were capable of dishonor. Well, of course I know. Well, they, they did everything together. So they joined the Foreign Legion together. Mm -hmm. When, when was that, Isabel? More than a year ago. And you hadn't seen them since then? I saw John only a few weeks ago at Oran. He was being court-martialed.
Tell me now. How long have you known each other? Since, since we were little children. Now, Miss Brandon, under what name have you always known this man, John Smith? John. John Jeff. That's all. Thank you, Miss Brandon. Legionnaire Raymond Gonzalez. You realize you're on the road, don't you? Yes, my captain. You knew this man then as John Smith? Yes, sir. I drilled by his side for weeks. When did you see him last? The day I reported him as a deserter. And when did you see him before that? The day he left for Fort Sindanov with his company. Uh, Captain, under whose command? Sergeant Lejeune. That's all. Your two brothers were with you at Fort Zindanev in the same company, weren't they? What became of them? They died, my colonel. With the others. You admit, do you, that during the attack on Fort Zindanev by the Arabs, you stabbed your superior officer? <coughs> yes! 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 Quiet, my boy. Quiet. Don't give way. Why? Tell me why. Because he was a swine, an inhuman blackguard. He struck my brother down when he was wounded. Badly wounded. Struck him down with his fist. And then he kicked him. So I killed him. That's all. Kevin, that's all right. John, John. Gentlemen, you're all against me. It's true, this legionnaire killed his superior officer in the heat of passion. But we must not forget that the officer himself was to blame for striking one of his men. Would not the penal battalion be punishment enough? I'd do it again, Isabel. I'd do it again. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Legionnaire John Smith. It is the decision of this court-martial that you shall serve ten years at hard labor in the penal battalion of the French Foreign Legion. It 
might have been worse, my boy. Much worse. John! John! No! <laughs> Oh, no, John, no. No, no. No, come on. No. Hey. Four. Mark. John. 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 Don't go. John. But can something be done? Your your State Department. No, no, we tried everything. But I think of him in, in some awful hole in Africa. The penal battalion. That awful heat. And then we were to have been married out of soon. Isabel, I'm the only one of Beaujest's band left. I'm going to find John. Oh, oh but you can't. He's a prisoner in some terrible place in Africa. I know the way. I'll find him and bring him back to you. But they wouldn't let you get near him. Listen, Isabel. As soon as I can get things arranged, I'll leave for France. Oh, this dear, I, I can't let you. I can't let you. You can't help yourself. And besides, now... Well, anyway, it will give me a new interest in life. Don't you see? And from France, I'll go to Africa. And then... Right to left, don't you remember? Huh? Zwei. Three. Dollar. Hands up. Yes? Seven. Otto. Nueve. Diez. Elf. Duanasti. Thirteen. Thirteen. You are number 13? Yes, sir. Isn't that supposed to be an unlucky number? I hope not, sir. So do I. American? Yes, sir. Ah. Thirteen. Back to front. Saplo. Saplo. Quatton. Carto. Dissinuevi. Ramon Gonzalez. Yes, sir. Re-enlistment, eh? Yes, sir. Ah. Well, you're a pretty sorry-looking lot. But when I get through with you, you'll be like my boys here. All right, Sergeant. Dismiss them. Dismiss! I'm not going to ask any of you why you joined the Legion. That question is never asked here. Why? Stick them under the shower, Sergeant. They need it. Then you'll get your uniform. And tomorrow, at sunrise, a smart grill. 
All right, Sergeant. Right, please. All right. Hold the cover, boys. Hold the line, boys. Number 13. Number 13. Yes, sir. Your name's Brown, isn't it? Yes, sir. Brown. <laughs> That's the usual name for an American in the Legion. Funny, isn't it? None of them ever think of green or gray. <laughs> There's a great opportunity in the Legion for an American or an Englishman of your type, my boy. Well, thank you, sir. That's all, Brown. Run along. Yes, sir. had a hard day, and you've done very well. All of you who want to can go into Zagwig tonight. No brawls, mind you. Back in barracks, lights out at 10 o'clock. You know the regulations. Don't break them. None of you want to join the penal battalion, do you? Huh? <laughs> All right, Sergeant. This Mr. Hey, John! It's me! Take the next piece off, will yes, you, Brown? Sir. I think I'll wear my white tunic. Yes, no, never mind. I'll do this, Brown. Yes, sir. Brown? Why do you think I made you my batman? Why, just to be decent to me, sir? <laughs> I'd just like to have you around. By the way, sir, this, this penal battalion you were talking about, what did all those men do to get in there? Oh, desertion, sedition, insubordination. Well, I mean, continued insubordination. Why? What do you care? Just wondering. You just give me a sock on the jaw on parade one morning. You won't wonder anymore. You'll be in the penal battalion. <laughs> Want to come along with me? Well, yes, sir. I'd like to. Where may I ask? Oh, I have to join Major Labote at the Emir's Palace. Got to cater to that Arab gentleman. Tremendous influence with the tribes. Loyal friend of France and all that sort of thing. My cat, please. I'd like to come along as my bodyguard? Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Come on. You know, Brown, it's not just the thing in the Legion for the adjutant to hobnob with a private, but, uh, oh, well, we're brothers under the skin, aren't we? Huh? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Allah is good, Major, in that you have deigned to honor me with your presence. I am grateful. It is France who is grateful, Kai, for your generous and powerful influence among the tribes. I am but the humble servant of your great country, Major. My house and all within it are yours. In your honor, I have arranged a simple entertainment. Oh, you resident. May he not be my guest also? All right, Frederick. Thanks, my major. I have a comrade with me, sir. A private. Uh, an American and, uh, well, one of us. An American? I am doubly honored. All right, Legion Air. Thank you.
like you to see where the Aeneas interest lies. Half French, half Arab. The Arabs take us seriously. In fact, they're superstitious about us. Others before the Emir, you left to tell the tale. They call her the Angel of Death. Don't you see what she wants? Kiss her, man. Kiss her. You Christian dog. Don't call me busy at all, man. I have just received good news, Major. Yes, Your Excellency. I understand you are sending a company to occupy the fort at the deserted town of Kida. We are, Your Excellency. I have just been assured that the villages through which you must pass will give you no trouble. Thank you, Your Excellency. Adjutant? Yes, sir. Get your men ready to leave immediately. Yes, sir. Come on, Brown. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Your Excellency. We shall not forget your loyal service. Present! Boom! Soldiers of the Legion! You are about to occupy a fort 30 miles from here. You will be the guardians of 200 miles of desert country. I know every man will do his duty. Remember the motto of the Legion. We are hard, but we are just. Order, boom! Right shoulder, boom! Right by four. Hurt. Never 
a long way to go. I'll give you plenty of time for that during the rest period. No stopping, I said. The sand in your lungs enough. <laughs> Insubordination. Uh, it's twice now. You want to ride straight through to the penal battalion? Is that what you're driving at? Well, that's it, eh? Very well, then. When you're ready, just give me that suck on the jaw I told you about. I may put a bullet in your gizzard first. Oh, get back into line, there's a good fella. Save yourself. Road step! Fun!
of the desert and die of thirst. It's over, men. A short march, and we're there. A short march? And we're where? You lost us. <laughs> You're killing us. Yes, yes, I am. Brown, take command. Shoot any man who disobeys you. March straight into the wind. Due south. Stand by me, all loyal men. No, don't mind me. I'm all right. Stop fighting. Get in line, you coward. No. Not another step. Not another step. Turn up. Hold it. No. No. Hold it. I tell you. No. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Andreas, fall in. No. Fall in, I tell you. No. Oh! Adjutant Frederick's company. He's in trouble. Looks like a mutiny.
something. No water. Mutiny. Desert madness. Not their fault. This man is. We're gonna take it So, you're the ringleader. Yes, my captain. I'm the ringleader. No, 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 no my captain. And it's you who try to stop the mutiny. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's me. I am the ringleader. These men try to defend their officer. They are innocent, every one of them. We're innocent, my captain. We're innocent. No, no, no my captain. No, 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 no my no, captain. No, this no, no. Really I can't the man. That is for the court martial to decide. Attention! Line up those men and take their names. All in. Never act. Facing me. Attention. Yes, sir. Sir. Your name. Enrico Silva, Ivan Badener, Carl Meyer, Jacob Levine, Ramon Gonzalez, Philip Brown. It is the decision of this court martial that you shall serve ten years at hard labor in the penal battalion of the French Foreign Legion. Put this lot in the grain pit. Make out your report, Sergeant. I'm getting tired of these mutinies. When the Colonel gets here, we'll have a drumhead court martial. And then, with your backs to a stone wall, you'll face a firing squad. That's all. Let's face! Wait in his back to
Jacob. Jacob! What did you say? Say that again, will you? I only said, Stout fellow, your name's not Smith. It's Jess. John. John Jess. Well, I found you at last. John. John, you, you can't die. You mustn't die. Think of Isabel. Matate ti caravada! Lika! Not a convict, not a legionnaire left alive. The work was well done. Εμπρός, τι κάνετε! Ιζοπέλ! Ιζοπέλ! I found him and he's dying. He's dying, Ιζοπέλ. And I can't bring him back. Ιζοπέλ! Isabel! Be like this, Jella. I'm the name of Allah, a drop of water. I'm dying of thirst. Elba! You're fortunate to be alive, my friend. Quite true. Your imprisonment was your salvation. There has been another religious outbreak. The Mohammedans against the Christians. Every god in conduct in this camp has been massacred. My friend. He's dying. I beg of you. Help me to save him. Elba, get on him. You need have no anxiety. Both you and your friends shall want for nothing.
Allah is good. He has delivered these two prisoners into our hands to help us in our holy mission. You have sent a messenger to Major Lebody? Just now. Let them warn for nothing. Let them suspect nothing. And then, in the grain pit, when you spoke those two familiar words, I knew it was you, and, well, you know the rest. Otis, old lad, you did all this for me. Oh, Isabel shouldn't have let you. She didn't have anything to say in the matter, old boy. Gave me something to do in life. Let me have a puff, old chap, will you? Oh, sorry. I'm just dying for her. Otis, you love Isabel. Oh, how you must love her. Does she love you? Isabel loved me. Why, boy, she loves any old pair of shoes you may have left at home better than anything in the world. Don't you know that? I see. I understand now. You mean you did all this for Isabel and for me, didn't you? Out, fellow. I remember now. That's what Bo used to say when we were children. The highest honor that can be bestowed on man or beast. John? 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 Bonjour, my brave legionnaire. My friend, where is he? The French came and took him. He's an escaped prisoner. And so am I. Why didn't they take me, too? Because, mon ami, I told them you have died. I'm saving you for myself. Perhaps you'll kiss me now, huh? Do you know where they took him? Yes, I know where they took him. They took him to the residency. Where he will die like the other Christian dogs. Where you would be too. But for me... Die? Well, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Today is the day of the big Arab uprising. There will be a surprise attack on the residency before they can prepare. They will be butchered like pigs. The Emir has planned it for a long time. But the Emir is a friend of the French. The Emir hates the French. All the outbreaks and massacres he knows about. You say this happens today? The call to prayer, thousands of the faithful will answer. But under their cloaks, they carry guns and swords. A, a massacre? Yes, a massacre, my handsome friend. Not a Christian will be left alive. Except you, my big American soldier. Perhaps... The treacherous swine. I must warn the residency. John mustn't be lost now. No, mon ami. It's too late. No white man could get to the residency alive now. With the cavalry post. They could save the residency if I got word to them. 
You will do much to save your friend. Yeah, huh? Anything, anything. I will help you save him. If you'll make me one little promise. I'll promise anything. What do you want? I'll tell you. I want to get out of this country. I want to live in Paris. I hate these brown skins. But I can't help you get out of here now. Oh, you don't understand. I'll get you out. And when you come back, you'll take me to Paris when this is finished. You promise? I promise. Now, how are we going to save my friend? I'll get you a dress like an Arab. You go out and mix with the crowd. When you get to the residency, tell them the cabal will be with there. But who'll get word to them? I will. Here, take these. When you go out, cry and pray as they do to Mohammed. When you reach the residency, tell Major Lebedee, cavalry will come and to hold out. Are you sure you can get word to the cavalry? You have my promise. When it's all over, you'll come back. I'll come back.
us in the next rush. Look that. Can I race the wall? Give them the cold steel. Better than the penal battalion, though.
Congratulations, Major. Thank you, sir. You arrived just in time. I'd like to thank the men. All this! By the way, Major, I always suspected that Emil of yours. But he won't bother us anymore. No. Picked off by that legionnaire on the end. Penal battalion. Two of them. The game's up, John. Looks like it. Back to the penal battalion for us. Find France ungrateful. Free. <laughs> Full pardon. Both of us. <laughs> what luck, eh? Decent of old Leopardy, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, goodbye. Look here, old man. A dancing girl. A half-caste. She doesn't expect it of you. Come on home with me, Otis. She kept her promise. Or we wouldn't be here. Now, either of us. You wouldn't want me to break mine, would you, John? Take me to Paris? Will I? Baby, I'll take you anywhere. And you will buy me a fine house and an automobile? I'll buy you two automobiles, gorgeous. <laughs> Say, I've come into real dough. And you will marry me? With alimony and everything? Sure, I'll marry you. Why not? But how about this sweetheart of yours? This American legionnaire? Oh, he's no good as a lover. Why should I bother with him? Now that I have found you, no man has ever loved before like you. Oh, my baby. Mm -hmm. John! John! Wait a minute! It's all right! I'm coming with you!